Wagwan Sports fans, welcome back to another very special episode. I'm your host, Jomar. I'm Rush. And this is This Are That Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting and riveting sports topics, discussions, and debates on the internet. Yes, people. But before we get into today's feature, damn, I tell them what we are doing. Yeah, today, people, it's a man in <laughs> feature. But before we get into that, nobody would have seen it from the fan Let yeah. them read the title. Let them tell me. It's something that be mysterious. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. But hold on, oh one I'm sure. To at least we we'll change the match now. Yeah. Cause the Premier League video drop. We'll add something to it. Yeah. If each one of you guys can share the video to at least six people, not five anymore. Because bro, new level unlock. I don't lie. Six people, do you know how many subscribers that will get us by the end of the day? Yes, people. So today we are doing another Manning Cup feature. Yes, sir. And we're at Edith Dalton James High School. Bro, how many people do you see doing it like we are doing it? Not many. Not many. In fact, I see none. Zero. I like? Zero. Unprecedented. People go to Tarrant. People go eat it. People go Casey. People mm. go Calabar. Like, they're all students and, you know, they're all playing the Money Cup. So, why wouldn't we attempt to go to as many schools as possible? You know, why would we only focus on the big schools? And the thing about it, bro, is the schools that are not necessarily dubbed as, you know, footballing giants mm -hmm. are schools that one would expect a lot for. Mm -hmm. The boys aren't playing for nothing more than the love of football and the love of their school. This is right. And that can often breed surprises. Yeah, You're, this is true. And bro, what are, what are you expecting from this feature today? What do you expect to see from this Edith Dalton James team? Um, well, as I said, um, I don't have very many expectations because as we would have known, they wouldn't have been in the Manning Cup last season. And I personally would assume that, that was due to the COVID um, mm -hmm. restrictions. However, it may or may not be. That's one of the things we'll find out now. So I don't necessarily have very many expectations. But what I do know is that, you know, I spoke to the coach before when I made the appointment for the future and he seemed interested in his team, you know, and the boys seemed like they, they loved the football. So I can't wait to go in and speak to the boys and to find out what exactly they're all about, what exactly they're up to and yeah. what they expect. And one thing I want to I want to hear from the coach is the expectation of his team. I yeah. want to see what they want to do in the in, sure. the in the Manning Cup this year. You know, is it just the first round? Is it the second round? Do they think they have the team to go all the way? I want to know that from the coach. Yeah, because one would believe that, you know, Edith might be conceding sixes and sevens all around. You know, that's just the general expectation that one might um, gather. However, no school is going into the Manning Cup to be a beating stick, bro. This is right. So, I can't wait to go in and see what's going on, to see what to expect. Yo, so let's do it then, the man. And People. stop talking, right? Come on. Let's go. All right, people, we're here with our very first interview of the day. Um, we're here with Edith Dalton James's head coach. Please introduce yourself, sir. Yeah, Coach Omar Taf, Technical Director. All right, so, you know, I guess it's a bit higher than head coach, it's Technical Director. <laughs> yeah. All right, Coach, you kick it off. Differentiate um, the role, you know, Technical Director, Head Coach. What's the difference and who is the head coach if not you then? Well, basically, oversee all the programs from under 14, under 16, and the under 19 to make sure so we have the same system coming right up so when the youth they make the transition it's not hard for them to do that. Alright. Coach, how long have you been in, um, involved with this Edith Dalton James program? You know, roughly about 10 years or probably more. Mm -hmm. It was not in the Manning Cup last year? No. Right, so I want to, I want to know why is that so and how easy is it to make the transition back to enter the, the Manning Cup? Uh, why was that so? The Covid, that was the problem. A lot of the students and parents were reluctant at taking the vaccine. Yeah. And the parents them did not want that. Me not going to make my child take it, so I'm not going to force other kids to take it. Alright, so um, and just to, just to clear things up, the, va the vaccine mandate is no longer applied to school. No, no, no longer. Alright. Edith Dalton James, Manning Cup team player. Introduce yourself, please. My name is Carly Williams. Right, tell us the position you play, um, great right. age. My position is defense, but unfortunately this year, my original keeper from my side is not here, so I will be the one that's in the goal this year for my side. Okay. So mm. that's the sacrifice I'm making for my team. Interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, my age, I'm 16 years of age. Yeah. Play Pepsi, captain my side as well, and hopefully here to lead this team to greatness. How do you feel about, how do you feel about um, making that sacrifice? You know, as, a, as, All a, right. as an outfield player, you don't want to play. Yeah, yeah, we like to play outfielders, but anything to make my side win. So if in the goal, 
Yeah, we'll do that just to ensure some side go through and win a cup before we leave the school. I am Jaim Lynch and I attend at Edith, Edith Dalton James High School. How old are you, Jaim? I am 16 years old. And the position that you play? Attacking midfield. Mm. So uh, you, you would say that you are one of the main players for this team? Yes, sir. Are you one of the leaders? Yes, sir, I can say that. Sir. Uh, and what, what are your roles as a leader in this Edith team? I am the role. Um, I motivate the players and the team, lead them, lead them, sir, guide them. We have, what do you call that now? We have, um, what did I say? We have potential, sir. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I have lead the team, sir. Um, Aswes Ledford, playing central forward, Edith Dalton, James High School team. Say that name again, team. say that name again. Aswes Ledford. And as a centre forward? No, central midfielder. Oh, central midfielder. All right, interesting name. That's one to remember, people. Listen out for it throughout the season. All right, let's get right into it. All right, how, um, how old are you? I'm um, 16 years of age. 16 and... Um, would you say that you're one of the leaders of, of this team at 16 years old? We know that this is an under-19 competition. Well, yes, sir. And, and what are some of the things that you do as a leader for this team? Well, sir, I advise the players to come training and all that, you know. Help them to know that they are the best. Tell them that they are the best, sir. So, what? Um, speak to us about your preparation for this season then. Considering that, you know, you, you got to go ahead to play and you got the team together. Speak to us about the preparation. Well, we start off pretty late because I think this is our fifth, fourth or fifth week. Start off to get the turnout because then you them kind of excited because they've been waiting for a very long time. Yeah. Lose a lot of the players because we did the enter last year. So basically we have a young team right now. Right. And tell us about that team. Tell us, um, is it a, would you say it's a good team or is it just a team you want to keep together for the next season? Well, honestly speaking, them surprised me to where them reach and be it a lot and see. So we expect to all the own. All right, so don't you think that you, your team will be put at, at a disadvantage though having a defender in the goal or do you believe that you are capable of playing well in whatever position that you All are right. put to play? There is a lot of great players on my team, so if I'm supposed to in the goal, I know that that's a, per a person is there on my team that can fulfill the position that I'm playing as a defender and play it as well as I can do and as I can play in the goal. Okay. Right, have you played in the Manning Cup before? No, this is my first year. Uh, but you played for Edith? Yeah, um, yeah. Colts and Pitts yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and how do you feel, you know, entering the Manicup for the first time? Alright, I'm feeling great, ready for all the challenges. You know, it wouldn't, it's not going to be easy, but my team and I, coaches and everybody, where is it? Where is it? Speak to us about, about the team's preparation. We heard that they started late and um, you're one of the leaders of the team, so I want to know about your perspective on the team's preparation? Well, the fact that we have started late, um, the coach have given some work, you know. We have been putting in the work since lately, so we're not there as yet, so but getting there, you know. Maybe during the season we can get there, but we're getting there. Um, besides, you know, ex um, the expectations, the whole one, do you have any like other like achievements, like for example, specifically, clear the zone or to win a couple of games? Like, speak to us about. Well, no goal is no goal is really to come out the zone. Or your goal is to, to exit the zone? Yeah. All right. And ultimately, what is the goal for these boys? I know that <clears throat> with a lot of the schools that aren't necessarily um, some of the bigger schools and the favorite in Manning Cup, mm -hmm. we've heard that, you know, some of the goals is to get the boys some scholarship to make sure that some of the boys... Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's my what, what are the goals? objective. I always try to get a couple of guys to get scholarship, not just to lift a trophy. Me winning is when a guy get a student get a um, scholarship to go overseas. So coach, in the past, have you been successful with getting students? To yeah, we get a few students who get a get, um, scholarship overseas. Female okay. program, them do very well. A few guys back in days, them get opportunity to, to go on scholarship. So what would they, them never realize at the start, put in some SAT class. Yeah. We did um, along with Jonathan Ebert Foundation, who normally keep that thing done by Monroe. Oh, so that's a thing that you, you get into SATs for the kids and stuff. Yeah, like. that's how it was talking about. We want to get them a contract for some of these guys get that opportunity. All right, and apparently you are one of the leaders of this team. Um, yes. How does it feel to be designated as one of the captains of the team? Tell us about um, how it felt when you heard that you would have been a leader and what responsibilities does your position entail? All right, it feels great to be leading my team. And the players on my team, they're all disciplined players that take talks from their captain as well and things so basically I'm here to lead this team to greatness and all my teammates that's here they take talks so basically we have a disciplined team and a disciplined team will go for this money Obviously we know that you'll be keeping goal but I want to ask you one last question tell us about the type of defender you are 
centre back and I also play on the wing back so I can play left and right wing back. Mm, so what are you? Ball playing defender, um, aggressive Attacking defender. Money. All right, aggressive, everything. Those words can describe me. I have control over the ball. I press hard. That's why I can make play for the players like Lionel Messi. Yes. Mm -hmm. What are some of your expectations? My expectation, I can assist a lot. I can kick ball good. I can score goals and all of that. Yeah. So how much goals do you think you're scoring in the Manning Cup? Like a lot, sir. <laughs> no, no, man. You can't count. I'll play like a good one, you know. Yeah, all right. Not, not bad at all. So more, more deep line, number eight, yeah. box to box Play style. In, yeah. All right. I make the triangle to come out though. Defense, you know. All right. Assist goes. I know you said deep line, so maybe more, well, more under Twenty one assist, assist, you know. Twenty one assist. assist. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, so um, you consider yourself a creative player, that's interesting. interesting. How well do you think Eid Dalton James will do in this year's Manning Cup? Considering that you guys might not be deemed as one of the favourites, how well do you think your team well, can do? We start late, you know, but our focus this year is to make it to the second round, you know. And do you think that's achievable? Yes, sir. And will you, and will you achieve it? Yes, sir. All right. Well, we heard it here. And please remind the people of that special name once more. As we select forward. As we select forward. All right, we select forward. Yeah, I think we can go the second round, play against Calabar and Casey and them side. Yeah, you can go second round and quarter final. To go like second round yeah. and be up like big school, JC, those school and also get a victory. Alright. All right. As I tell you before, yeah, yeah. they get through the group stage and then we'll take it from there. Alright. All right, people, there you have it. Eat it, Dalton James, Manning Cup team, brother. The feature is over. How do you feel about that one? Um, good feature, you know. Uh, there is some interesting stuff that we learned. A defender will be keeping in goal. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. You know, um, a coach who is rebuilding a system. Also, who would have known that Edith would have provided scholarships to yeah. send players away from Edith Dalton James and scholarships, bro? Yeah, and the technical director slash head coach, yeah. um, he really cares about the boys. You can see it. He's been Definitely. involved with this program for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, he's saying that his ultimate goal is to get the boys and um, football scholarships. And, and what more admirable a goal can you expect from a school like, like this? You know, um, you just love to see it. Yeah, bro, talent is everywhere. You know, it's not only in the chases and the cases of the world. There are gems and there are diamonds in the rough in all aspects of life. So we came today and we definitely saw a few, bro. This is right. Oh, people. Let us know, what do you think about a feature like this? What do you think about Edith Dalton James team? You saw some clips of them training, you saw the coach, you know, you heard what he thinks, you heard what the, the players think. Let us know what you think about this feature. People, don't forget though, like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh, you want them to share the video, bro? To at least six people. Because if each one of them can get us at least six subscribers, do you know how many subscribers that will get us by the end of the day? Holy, holy, holy. People, for now, this was this or that sports TV. And we're out.